$1.35 million. That's how much it'll take to revamp the Rockets football stadium. This is a long time coming. Uh, we're very excited to go ahead and, and see the process begin of the demolition. Um, it's, it's, it's always fun to know, to, just to think ahead of what this is really going to look like, what it's going to mean for our fans, what it's going to mean for our community. It's going to be a, it's going to be a first class project. Superintendent Dr. Lundy Brantley says some of the things bond and reserve funds will cover are new lights, bleachers, a press box, and even a switching of sides. Where I stand now is currently the visitor side, but come kickoff August 23rd, Rockets fans will have a new side to call home. Dr. Brantley says May is the anticipated completion date. Right now this, we have the demolition going on, bleachers, press box, lights all being removed. Uh, once that's completed, DNH construction will uh, do the dig outs underneath, underneath each uh, a uh, set of bleachers where they can, they'll put the concrete back in. Principal Jason Gentry says the new stadium will truly represent Neshoba Central. It's very exciting um, to, to know that, that uh, you know, when you pull on campus, you'll see our home side on the opposite side, and, and it's going to really reflect the pride and tradition and what we're trying to do here at Neshoba Central. Gentry says the whole school is excited for the finished product. Well, I'm going to tell you, our students, number one, they, they're already talking about it. Uh, I think it allow, allow us to do, uh, when we do things here, have, have, uh, more community support within the stadium. Uh, I think it, it, once you have something like this, it, it just spills over into your, into your building with your teachers and your students and your classroom. For Kicks 96 News, I'm Ashley Fortenberry.